Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have more Ryzen leaks and I can't really say that we're learning a whole lot from them, but hey, it's a leak so I'm gonna talk about it because uh, frankly they're interesting even if they're not always true. Let's talk about it a little bit. Now I may have played everything up a little bit there in the intro because to be honest, this is one of the less interesting Ryzen 3000 leaks that we've seen. And that's mostly because I don't really think we learn a whole lot from it. We don't even get the link to a database where we can check the numbers for ourselves. This is actually just coming from a known leaker, someone that has specifically leaked information in the past about AMD's upcoming Ryzen series. So this is from Twitter and this guy is a Apisac. App Pisak? I don't really know how to uh, say his name. It's entirely possible the emphasis I'm putting is on the wrong syllable. I don't know, but let's take a look at this particular tweet. This is from nine hours ago as of uh, the recording of this video, but we get some very base details on the 16 core upcoming Ryzen 3000 chip. If you remember back when we first got a look at the actual processor itself from Lisa Su, it looked like we had the uh, one chiplet there on top, the eight core CCX, but there was clearly a spot that uh, Lisa Su had in the chip she was showing off where there would be another CCX. So immediately people were guesstimating that there would be a 16 core variant of the Ryzen 3000 series chips on the main series platform. That's the X570 platform that's coming down the road, hopefully in July. And this would seem to be nothing more than maybe a, a loose confirmation that this is in fact gonna be the case. We're definitely gonna be seeing 16 core chips on the Ryzen 3000 mainstream series of processors. You won't have to go to Threadripper now, at least it looks like you won't have to go to Threadripper to get those 16 cores, but we do get some base information and this does look like it's probably an engineering sample. So the clock speeds aren't really gonna give us a whole lot of information because those will almost certainly change between now and the time the uh, processors are actually released. But right now, if these are in fact engineering samples, we're seeing a base clock of 3.3 gigahertz with a boost clock of 4.2 gigahertz. And we don't really know if that's like an all core boost or if that is just that one or two core boost. Uh, doesn't really specify. And then of course we do have this being run on an X570 motherboard, which we already sort of knew were coming down the road anyway. So beyond maybe confirmation of 16 cores and then likely 32 threads, unless AMD decides they don't want simultaneous multi-threading on any of those top end processors, which is not gonna happen, I might add. Uh, this is nothing more than confirmation. It's good information still, just because we the more information we have, the better off we are. Uh, we're getting kind of late in the game for these engineering samples since it is the start of May, which puts us, hopefully, if the July 7th rumors are to be believed, that's within two months of the launch of the Ryzen 3000 series. But this is the most recent information. Look for leaks like this to become more and more frequent as we get on towards the actual launch of the Ryzen 3000 series. Speaking of the launch of the Ryzen 3000 series of processors, it's likely that we'll get some official information from AMD by the time this month is out, as Computex is just around the corner, and it's well known that Lisa Su is speaking there. It's widely believed she'll make the announcement of the uh, Ryzen 3000 series of chips being officially announced with a uh, actual launch date probably about a month after Computex. Uh, the rumor, like I already said, is about July 7th because 7-7 would make a lot of sense from the marketing standpoint of a 7 nanometer process. But that looks like, uh, if nothing else, we'll get the official scoop on everything then. Now, as far as the clock speeds on this leak go, I would love to see these be a little bit higher for the actual release. Uh, being that this is probably an engineering sample, I think that's probably a reasonable request. And the reason is, especially on the boost clock side of things, I typically look at that as a good indicator of what an overclock might end up being. Normally you can either get right to it, maybe slightly higher, maybe slightly lower, depending on the CPU across all cores though, you just have to have pretty good cooling together with some of the modern higher core count chips. But if we end up seeing boost clocks more towards the 4.5 gigahertz range, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I would love to be able to get 4.5 across all 16 cores, though that may take some pretty extreme cooling solutions. But that's the leak that we're working with right now. If you're interested in following Apisac or Apisake or whatever his correct pronunciation is, and I will link that down below because he does have a lot of AMD uh, breaking news across the leak front. 
and it is a good Twitter account if you're really into getting the most bleeding edge uh, news about the upcoming Ryzen 3000 series. It's likely that it will show up there, if not first, very quickly thereafter. So it's a good Twitter account to follow. By the way, mine is a good one to follow too. You can follow that at Hoosier Hardware, also link down below, but I'll leave the little uh, handle down there as well, as well as my Instagram page is also conveniently Hoosier Hardware. And if you like this video, give it a like, share it, subscribe. All those things are very helpful. You can even hit that bell notification icon down there. Apparently Apparently that's a big deal and uh, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos around me from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video.